Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, first things first, I'm alive. It's kind of cool. Uh, it's been a little bit since I made a video. I've been kind of swamped with school and stuff. For those of you that don't know, I'm a college student, actually a college senior now, uh, going for business administration. So, kind of cool. Uh, junior year is finally over. It's weird. That means summer's here, that means videos are here, uh, and a couple other surprises, um, which I'll explain later on. So today we're here to talk about what I consider to be the best Bluetooth speaker you can get for under 40 bucks, and that's the Anchor A something something. We're just gonna call it the Anchor speaker because it's just got a model number, not the best at marketing. In my experience, this is definitely one of the best speakers you can get, if not the best speaker you can get for under 40 bucks. It's got a kind of a cool story, actually. My car's stereo system just died for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, conveniently, like the week after I got this guy, and it's had it for a few months now, um, and I've just been lazy about getting it fixed. And this has been my sound system for my car, this little guy. So that kind of speaks volumes. Uh, disclaimer, two of them. One, if you're an audiophile, you're probably not looking for a Bluetooth speaker. Two, um, I'm not an audiophile. Um, I have a little bit more than basic knowledge of music frequencies and just stuff like that. Um, but one of the surprises is I'm actually learning to produce uh, electronic music, uh, make it, mix it, um, and trying to be a DJ on the side. I think it's really, really fun. So that means you're gonna start hearing my music in the background of videos. Not this one, but probably in the coming videos, still in the learning stages. So let's shut up and let's talk about this speaker uh, and why it's pretty good and why you should buy it. So the speaker itself is really straightforward. I mean, it's got three ports, two ports actually. It's got an auxiliary in, so you can just plug whatever device you're playing music from straight into it. Uh, and it's got a power port, just standard micro USB, and then an on and off switch. It's really simple. The outside is made of like a soft feeling plastic. Uh, I hesitate to say felty because it's not quite felty, um, but it's definitely a soft plastic. It feels really nice. It does scuff up pretty easily and it definitely gets fingerprints and like skin oils super easily, but just wipe it off. And honestly, you're not buying a speaker for the aesthetics. You're buying it for the actual sound quality and that's what it does pretty well. Uh, on the front, you've got a little indicator that'll flash blue if you're connecting or sell the blue if you're connected. Um, the speaker itself, just the Anchor logo. It's got a plus for obviously increasing volume, play button for, you guessed it, playing the music, and then a minus button for lowering the volume. And that's it. I mean, it's really straightforward. It's a square, uh, and there's not a whole lot to it really, and there doesn't really need to be. It's very portable. One of the things that I have noticed that is fantastic with this thing is it does not die. I actually haven't been able to kill it. When I first got it, I ran it dead, and it definitely wasn't completely charged then and it'll notify you with some little message like plug it in or or some sort of notification saying battery low I think is what it says uh, just to tell you to plug it in but I, I haven't been able to kill it I use it daily I drive half an hour to school and work each day uh, they're thankfully both in the same city uh, and I just I can't kill it I plug it into my car charger every couple of days and it's, it's great the fact that I'm able to use it as my car stereo system now you know it's not as great as a full-on stereo system but it gets the job done I can just play what music I want from my phone to the speaker that speaks volumes for me because uh, if I didn't have it I probably would have taken a little more priority and got my car's speakers fixed but whatever this this suffices for now and it's definitely far cheaper um, so I'm really content with it. Uh, I'll throw a couple samples and just a little bit of actual audio quality from it. A couple things that you should really pay attention to. It's, uh, it gives you very rich sounding music. And it sounds kind of weird to say that from a small Bluetooth speaker that's 40 bucks. At least I bought it for $39.99 off Amazon. But damn, it sounds good and it gets loud. At its loudest volume, it doesn't crackle and there's really no distortion. And it's just it's kind of blown me away because for $40, I didn't expect to get something that was so loud and sounded so great. It's not perfect. Uh, I do wish it got a tad louder, only for my car's reasons, because when I have this, the windows down, then it gets a little bit faint. But in normal usage, because my usage is definitely not normal, it's amazing. You're definitely not going to have any problems with it. So let's shut up a little bit and I'm going to play a few audio samples of different styles of music and just showing you how it sounds as far as the richness of the sound. Bass is pretty good honestly. The treble and you know like the acoustics could be a little louder but let's be real if you're buying a little speaker you probably just want something that has some oomph. I can't sleep with you on my brain And I ain't anywhere close to 
outside Your kiss has got me wide Girl, you got to be right Killing in your Levi's High on your love has got me buzzing like a streetlight It's still early out in Cali, baby Don't you want to rally again? Find a row and no name Been over making me to damn boat So there's a look at how the speaker handles different genres. I threw some electronic to get some of the higher frequencies, some rock for lower frequencies. Uh, electronic has some lower ones too. And then country to kind of mix it up in the middle there and just show how versatile it is. I mean, it really sounds good. That was at 80% volume, give or take a little bit. And it was kind of obnoxious being in this room that I'm in because it was really loud. So that's awesome. I don't have a whole lot to complain about for it. Um, my only complaint, I guess, is the original one that I had broke, so I had to contact them, but they were very professional about it. They sent me a new one, paid for everything, um, and I bought this this speaker on my own dime. There's nothing was sponsored here. Um, and turnaround could have been a little quicker. It was probably close to two weeks, uh, and but that really only matters to me because it's my car's stereo system. So for the normal person, it doesn't matter. I've used other speakers. Um, the quality of sound, the richness, and just the, it's just overall really good. Um, it competes with some of the 60 to 80 dollar range speakers, so I, I think that's really great. You can plug in with an auxiliary cord if you want to. If you're an audiophile, you'll probably end up doing that, but you might not be looking at the speaker if you're an audiophile, um, or maybe you're just trying to learn. Who knows? So that's a review of the Anchor uh, A7908012. Stupid name. It's the model number. It's the Anchor speaker. Link will be down below, as well as the links for all the songs that I played. Of course, I don't own those songs, just use it for demonstrative purposes. Gotta throw that in there. I'm here so I won't get fined. Now, this is my 100th video. It's kind of cool for me. I certainly didn't think I'd be here making 100 videos or that anybody would actually want to watch them. So thank you for that, because I don't have a reason to make the videos without you watching. So thank you so much. I want to do a giveaway soon, but I want it to be meaningful. So I'm trying to talk to some different companies about getting something worthwhile to give to you. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, so subscribe to keep on to or to keep in track with that, uh, and definitely like if you enjoyed the video, and feel free to provide any sort of feedback you have too. I'm all for that. It's summertime; needs more videos. Um, like I mentioned, I'll have my own music in there too pretty soon. I give it a couple of videos so I can learn a little more. But that's all for this video. Thank you once more for watching. Thank you for being here for 100 videos, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.